let me calm down right now. If I had to say something to Seth MacFarlane himself, I have to say this. Please stop. Stop trying to be funny. You are not funny. You know, seeing Mr. Enter, of all people, try to lecture someone else on being humorous, it it's a fucking joke. It really is. And also, Seth MacFarlane literally got hired by Hanna-Barbera purely because of his writing ability. His writing ability was that good that they hired him on that alone. You're not a comedian. I know that you want to entertain people and make them laugh, and that is definitely admirable. I've also heard that you do suffer from depression, so maybe you think that trying to be funny is all that you have, but you are not an untalented guy. You may have signs of doubt, but try something new for once. And I don't mean try something that isn't a cartoon. Please, try something that's not a comedy. Yes, he should definitely try something new. Am I right, guys? Even though he hasn't written an episode of the show, A Family Guy, since 2010. Yeah, let's give Seth MacFarlane this condescending lecture, despite the fact that he hasn't even written an episode of the show since 2010. It's ridiculous. It's fucking ridiculous. Write something dramatic for once. Or hell, get out of the writing business altogether and become a singer. Again, he isn't even in the writing business anymore. I mean, like, seriously. Because if there's one thing that you're good at, is singing. Trust me, you do not want Family Guy to be the big thing that you're known for for the rest of history. I don't want that for you. And I hope to the Fonz that you don't want that either. Y yeah guys, the Fonz. A family guy. I mean, they really don't want him to... <laughs> they really don't want Seth MacFarlane to be remembered for creating a popular show. <laughs> it's gotten stale years ago, and it does nothing anymore but breed bitterness and resentment. Bitterness and resentment? <laughs> what, what the fuck does that even mean? <laughs> like, what? <laughs> Bitterness and resentment. <laughs> like, what, over a fucking TV show? <laughs> like, even if... Even if that's true. Uh, like, what do you think is gonna happen? Like, a bunch of stupid neckbeards <laughs> are gonna form this make family guy great again cult or some moronic shit like that like do you really think like something like that would happen i mean <laughs> like for real <laughs> in all seriousness though enter this lecture lecture of yours was fucking pathetic it really was like, you really thought it was a good idea to give a very arrogant, condescending lecture to someone that, someone as successful as Seth MacFarlane. A guy who's li who, whose net worth is literally $200 million because he's that successful, successful when it comes to animation. You thought it was a good idea to lecture someone like that. All because you don't like Family Guy. Enter, don't you understand that this is literally the same shit you did a few years ago with the whole, Sp you know, the whole Spongebob Ryder fiasco where you decided to morally shame the Spongebob writers o over them writing episodes of Spongebob that you did not like? And you complained about how Many detractors of yours, they constantly bring up your, your negatives, right? The, the bad stuff that you did in the past. But enter, you cannot continue to do the same things that people have criticized you for heavily in the past. It just doesn't work like that. Like, okay, look, man, forgive and forget, you know, you make mistakes, great. You know, everyone, you know, 
I would I would say that every logical person needs to understand that if a person is truly remorseful, you got to accept their forgiveness and like move on. Okay, great. But that doesn't mean that you continue to do the 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 same mistake in question. It doesn't work like that. This tirade on Family Guy I mean, first of all, let me just say for the record, this tirade on Family Guy that you that you did in your top 10 worst cartoons of the 2010s video, on its own, I could have done a full-on commentary on it. The arguments you made were just terrible. Like, you literally said that Quagmire sucks because he's a rapist. Which is not a valid criticism towards a character in fiction, because with that logic, Nico Bellic from GTA 4 is a shitty character because he's a murderer. Okay? But even ignoring your very horrendous critiques on Family Guy, the fact that you would stoop this low and essentially attack Seth MacFarlane like this is honestly just pathetic. It really is pathetic. And, and over what? Over over not liking Family Guy? I mean, <laughs> what? And I don't want to see anybody in the comment section below be like, oh, you're just a Family Guy fanboy, or you probably, probably like Family Guy. Look, I haven't watched an episode, I haven't watched an episode of Family Guy in years now. I just don't like the show anymore. However, even though I don't like the show... I'm not going to sit there and go online and give this condescending lecture to Seth MacFarlane over me just not liking the show. Because it just doesn't matter that much. I mean, seriously, does it matter? Does it really matter that much that Family Guy just isn't a good show anymore? It's like, it's ridiculous. And before anybody in the comment section below says, oh, well, you know, this is just a one-time thing, maybe Enter improved in every other regard, that would be a valid valid thing to say. I mean, don't get me wrong, it doesn't, ju it doesn't justify this, but that would be a valid thing, thing to say. However, I will leave a link in the description below, a video made by a YouTuber who goes by the name of Farts and Stuff. Um, and he did a video detailing, uh, a drama that occurred with Mr. Enter over his Nick Orama series that he did a while ago. Yeah, apparently it caused a huge drama with, uh, with, um, his fans and he deleted his Twitter over it. And it was some really cringy shit. And it was honestly over him not being able to handle criticism that well. And he even deleted his Twitter over that fiasco. So, there you go. Look, Mr. Enter, my dude, listen to me, okay, man? Genuine advice, okay? Stop doing this, man. Stop, like, there's no reason for you to engage in this toxic behavior online because all what's going to happen is the same thing that has happened for years now, right? It's, it's this exact same thing. People are going to criticize you for this shit, okay? If you really don't like being being known as like the worst reviewer of the cartoon community, stop doing things that make people give you that fucking title, okay? Like, it's really not that hard, man. Look... I don't, I don't even hate you, right? I don't dislike you, none of that, right? Um, and honestly, the bandwagon towards you in some cases honestly did go a little too far. There were some people who made videos on you or made or trolled you or whatever. Some of those guys who obsessed about you were, were just straight up A-logs, okay? Where they just had an obsessive hatred. I don't have a problem with you, honestly. I do actually, in a way, want you to actually improve. I want everyone to improve. I don't like this idea of somebody being a laughing stock or somebody being hated on the internet. But man, you you gotta you gotta really, really like 
you gotta improve, man. And I mean actually improve. None of this shit, okay? None of the shit that you used to do, alright? Anyways, people, this is this has been Bro Bro Man here with another video. In case you guys are wondering, uh, my reviewer review for the Angry Video Game Nerd is going to get delayed again because my computer, if you guys are not aware, my computer is pretty dis- is, is fucked. Okay, let's, that's just the key word there. And all the work I had into making that episode went down the drain. Pew! Oh, that's that doesn't make any sense. It, it you get you guys get what I'm saying, and it, and it really sucks. So give me some time. Um, I have a lot of work at the moment that I have to get done, and it's 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 honestly just it's really been taking a toll at my sanity. Okay, some of the college work they expect you to do is just stupid. Um, but hey, hopefully it's worth it in the end. Anyways, this is Bro Bro Man here, or mega dupe tv or professor dipshit or whatever the fuck you want to call me signing off you guys have a wonderful day